Welcome back, everyone. Our good friend, Chris Lee Zader, is in the house. What movie news do you have for us today? Well, first of all, um, there was a rendition of Phantom of the Opera <laughs> just happening I here. I just over that, Maddie. And I don't even know where to start. I, I love me some Phantom, and Jeff Kotner, sound engineer, played a karaoke track, I think, on accident, and I just started singing every yep. word because love me some Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> so, there are a couple of big movies out this week. Okay. Okay. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So, this is the animated follow-up to the wildly successful uh, Oscar-winning Spider-Verse. Um, this epic adventure transports Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man across the multiverse to join forces with a new team of spider people to face off with a villain more powerful than anything they've encountered before. This takes place across six dimensions. I don't even understand that. <laughs> However, I know that there are people that, uh, you know, fans that are much more into it than I am. But there's 240 characters in this and over 1,000 animators worked on the movie. Oh, wow. oh my god. Yeah, that's a big deal. And then also out the boogeyman. Oh no no no. No. <laughs> oh no, no. This no. is an adaptation of Stephen King's The Boogeyman. So it's got his seal of approval on it, you know. This is about a psychiatrist. He has a patient who talks to the doctor about, you know, murders of his three young children, oh. very intense, uh, oh, describing the events of the past several okay. years. The oh, children sure. cried boogeyman before their fates were decided. This was originally meant to be released straight to streaming on Hulu, but the strong reception from test screenings prompted its wide release and, you know, in the, in the theaters, which is cool. Um, Don Luzader, very big fan of scary movies. I am taking him tonight because he loves them so much. I saw the trailer and I was scared to death. Yeah. Yeah. I but I love it when something was supposed to be on stream and then it's so... I mean, the scary movies are that genre that does not need any major powerful star to carry it. They do well. You know, you yeah. don't have, you don't have to have like you know Tom Hanks. Yeah. Yeah. To to make it happen. So. It's true. New on Blu-ray. If you missed it on the big screen, Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves, a charming thief, and a band of unlikely adventurers embark on an epic quest to retrieve a lost relic. But things go dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. It's never good when you run into the wrong people. <laughs> this has Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, and Regé Jean Page. Oh, Regé Jean Page. Oh, so, um, and I want to touch base on something because Maddie yeah, yeah. reported to me yep. that she saw a movie that I recommended. Have you ever done that, Jeremy? Once, actually, once. I'll give you credit me. where Wait, what was what was Elvis. One? Oh, that is true. I did take her advice on Elvis. Okay. Elvis, so. And I loved it. Maddie saw Air. I did. Which is available on Prime, because if you missed it on the big screen. But uh, Ben Affleck, oh, Matt Damon, and it's how the Air Jordan came about. So what did you, what did you think? Give me your mini. I have to say, it started slow for me, but once, uh, like, Michael Jordan's family was introduced, mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, my stakes, I'm invested, like, I'm, I'm worried this is not going to get done. And right. I like their collaboration with the actual, the shoemaker and yes. his idea and all that. He was and that great. agent just got me all sorts of stressed. Uh, well, and what, you know, obviously we know how it ends. Right. Michael Jordan still makes $430 million per year on that shoe. That's like passively. Yeah. Just, yeah, he ju it just happened yeah. while we were talking. That's insane. So, to, so we knew the ending, but it's still like... You know, but that's how Ben Affleck, he's the director. That's how he directs. He's in my top five favorite directors. Yeah. I love him so much. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought the little kid on Good Wheel Hunting with Matt Damon, <laughs> right? You know, would have been this director. Yeah. yeah. No, he's a, uh, Matt Damon has the acting chops, and I like Ben Affleck more behind the camera because mm -hmm. I think uh -huh. he's, he just moves good. Um, second to Quentin Tarantino in picking soundtracks because it has, oh. a, has a big 80s feel to it. Gosh, that yeah. was such a good soundtrack. Yeah, so if too. you have not seen Air, it is on Amazon Prime, okay? Box office winners, if you need to catch up, Little Mermaid, my nine-year-old niece said, I loved it so much. It was happy and it was sad. It was very good. What, that is her review. What did she, okay. what did she end it with? Because I thought she left it on a cliffhanger. I saw your little video. 
Uh, Did she say something at the end that was a cliffhanger? No, no? she cried. Oh, she cried. She cried. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is uh, beautiful, I will say, and Melissa McCarthy is fantastic in it because she's fantastic in everything, and so that's my summation of Little Mermaid. Oh, okay. Is it my favorite movie I've seen this year? No, that is Air. Wait, uh, no, wait, Chris Luzier, just give us this. If you had to pick between the 90s animated Little Mermaid or this one, which one do you pick? Ooh, um, I will always go more live action than I do animated. Okay. Unless oh. you're a minion or a penguin, then I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in. Uh, Fast X is still out there. It's number two at the box. Is it life changing? No. Is it great? Yes. Okay. And again, makes you want to drive a certain way after you see the movie. <laughs> and Guardians of the Galaxy still hanging on at number three. So, guess what is happening tomorrow night? What? Say to 48. Film challenge Yay. happened. The award ceremony is tomorrow night at the Galois, and I will be there. And I'm excited to be presenting. Who knows how many awards? It usually, when in doubt, they're like, "Hey, can you do this one?" Lose eight or eight. Have they have they gave out the nominations yet? No, you no. find out. You then. find out. Th oh, yeah, gotcha. yeah. So it's exciting. And uh, whoever wins, we get to watch their five minute film. So it's oh. very exciting. So by the way, too, Kaylee's excited. Kaylee submitted. Ray, didn't you submit? You were part of the team. And uh, Kira's upstairs, but there was a little Two thing happen. happened. Anyhow. But Sorry, yes. I didn't mean to mention that. Two there we go. Okay. That we love Kira, though. Okay. <laughs> Great. So Founders Park movies. They only are doing three of them this year. One has passed. The other is tonight. And it's 51st Dates. Who doesn't love Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore together? So I good. Yeah. I do. And it's just a fun movie. And then mark your calendars for July 7th. Top Gun Maverick is there. More information is at parkboard.org backslash movies. And they're free, awesome. by the way, which is a oh. great admission fee. Well, thanks, Chris oh, Luzader. Yes. Look at that. That was action packed today. I know. Very action packed. I mean, come like on. all the genres. We had everything. Horror. Yeah. And then good stuff and good st air. And congratulations and for seeing and... Air, my favorite movie so yeah. far this year. Yes. Maddie, taking my advice. All right, guys, don't no, go like anywhere. Else will. <laughs> so much more fun on those Xbox AM right after this. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one Maybe day. One day. We'll Maybe. See.